Hi, my name is Norman Nassen and today I'll be talking about our flexible PXI based test system. We have put this test system together based on all of our PXI products plus a third party PXI uh, product. And the reason we use PXI is because it's an industry standard uh, established over 25 years and still going strong. It's modular, it's flexible, it's scalable and this is what uh, our customers need uh, if they want to design the test system for tomorrow. So here we have a uh, BMS uh, uh, that we have bought off the internet and what we have done is we have connected it with uh, different sensor simulation including battery simulation, fault insertion, CAN bus and power supply to, to simulate all the different behaviors that a, a BMS will need. We have also got a temperature simulator in there as well to sort of uh, simulate in case the uh, battery pack is on fire and how the BMS will react to it. The idea of putting this system together is we can then look into different kinds of fall conditions that a BMS uh, goes through but in a safer environment which means we can validate our BMS uh, in time and pre-production so the users or the customers when they have this BMS into their EV wouldn't have to face these problems later. In this test system we have got our battery cell simulators that are connected with our fault insertion. We have got a third party uh, um, CAN card that is for communication as well as the uh, uh, a power supply uh, uh, and RTD simulation for temp temperature simulation, uh, power supply to uh, simulate charging and a load module to simulate discharging. In this particular application we have created different kinds of test scenarios that a BMS will be going through. So we have got uh, a charging cycle, a discharging, what will happen if a BMS uh, goes into an over voltage condition, what will happen if one of the uh, cells within the BMS is weak and um, what will happen if for instance one of the uh, switches get disconnected, how will the BMS react to it and what we are doing is we are recording all of this data um, uh, so that intelligent decisions can be made as a result of it. Uh, we are also simulating over temperature and under temperature, so uh, we expect BMS to react uh, to different fault scenarios. For instance, if the battery is on fire, it needs to make sure that the power going to the battery pack needs to be disconnected, and we are simulating all those fault conditions, but in a safe environment. Thank you for listening. Uh, don't forget to check out pickeringdesk.com, and if you need any more information, about BMS test system, do visit our website and contact one of us for more information. Thank you.